Hey guys, Chris here from Forest Salon Software, and today we're going to be looking at the most crucial tips for hiring the very best salon staff. But before we do, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell as well so you don't miss the next episode. Following our recent Explain with Emoji video, which you can peep right here, we wanted to follow on that conversation about staff, and this time we're going to be focusing on hiring the very best staff. First off, it's very easy to lose focus on such an important area. When your roster is full, it's full. There are a million other important time demanding things that you have to do on a daily basis. Plus, it's not like you always have the luxury of planning your next hire ahead of time. The fact that you need to find a replacement or you need to increase the numbers on your team can sometimes jump in out of the blue. So what, dear viewer, what can we do about this? I mean, if we hire the wrong person in a panic, it can really have an adverse effect on our business, and we might be square one in the recruitment process quicker than a candidate can list their strengths and weaknesses. Well, we have the answer. In order to ensure that you aren't left in the lurch when it comes to recruitment, it's time that we build a salon recruitment plan, something that we can easily access when the time comes to find that perfect someone who will truly make an impact and help grow your business. Number one, use salon-based recruitment advertising space online. Every other industry in the world has moved on to online recruitment. However, many salons and spas still work off the old doorbell technique, waiting for someone to walk in with a CV printed in their hand and applying in person. Now, this may have worked in the past, and it does work today, but the reality is we're way past that now. Why wait for someone to literally fall into your lap? Instead, more and more people are applying for jobs from the comfort of their own home. So if you're not using these online recruitment spaces, then you're absolutely missing out on some top choice CVs and resumes. Number two, have a clear understanding of what you're looking for in your staff. It might sound obvious, but sometimes we can be oblivious to the obvious. The demand to hire some body might prevent us from identifying the right body. That is why we should have a clean, clear, targeted idea of the type of person we're looking for. The core areas that you should be looking for in your recruitment checklist should be technically skilled, experienced, trustworthy, loyal, relaxed, but friendly, client focused, results driven, a clear attention to detail, conscientious, well mannered, well presented, with sales skills, and the ability to retain clients. These are the attributes of a successful salon staff. Now, I know that applicants might not have well mannered or loyal written on their resume, so how can we qualify these features? Well, allow me to introduce you to point number three, preliminary phone interviews. Yeah, instead of scrutinizing and dissecting CVs and resumes for days, unsure of who we should invite in for a formal interview, we should adopt a five minute prelim stage where a quick phone interview is conducted to catch the character of your would-be colleague. And this interview isn't supposed to be about their practical experience either. Instead, let's see if we can get a sense of who they are. Are they passionate about their job? Are they excited about the prospect of an interview? Have some fun with it and ask what the best and worst experience you've ever had with a client is. And what happens when they arrive for the interview? Where did I put number four? Oh, here it is. Treat your interviewee like you treat a client. There can be an unintended awkwardness in job interviews. We don't know why, but sometimes it's just a little uncomfortable. This might not be the applicant's fault. It could come down to the interviewer not establishing a warm and welcome environment. When I was directing films, we'd have auditions for actors. I always made a point to be warm and welcoming. And when I noticed that an actor was a bit nervous or hesitant, I would ease their mind by letting them know that we're on the same side. I hope they're the right candidate, because if they are, I can stop looking. So I'm rooting for you to succeed. That little support usually would help ease the tension and allow them to present the best of what they had to offer. You can do the same thing for your recruits. How about giving them a tour of the salon, introduce them to some other team members while gauging their enthusiasm and rapport. Also, have a clear understanding of who your business is. If you're getting good vibes off an applicant, then by all means, chat to them about what makes your salon special. Don't forget, good applicants might be in talks with other businesses too. If you find someone good, you want them to love what your salon is all about. And there it is, the four need to know tips to ensure that you hire the very best for your salon. What do you think? Are there any here that you currently do? Or do you have an idea that you know to be effective that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and while we're together, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell as well. 
My name is Chris Brennan from Forest Salon Software. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, let's grow.